Today's episode is not one of my usual ones because it's not a schedule maintenance. I was about to leave IOI City Mall on a weekend at night and this happened. In situations like this, there's only one person in the world that I will call my ever reliable mechanic, one. And luckily for me, he came to the rescue. Motor ini. Huh? Motor ini. Oh. Apparently, my steering lock motor is jammed and that's why I couldn't start the car. But take note, W204 owners, this will happen to you at least once throughout your ownership period. And it can happen at any time and any place. And in my case, it happened at the worst possible timing. Normally, when you insert the key into the keyhole, the key will be sucked in. But in my case, it didn't. And when I turned the key, I didn't see any blinking lights on the meter panel, which you will normally see. And the car didn't start. So that's when I knew that I had a problem. However, there's an indication to tell that your steering lock motor's life is about to end. When you insert the key into the keyhole, you will notice that the suction becomes slower and slower. But in my case, I didn't notice at all. So I hope you guys take note on that. Now, what one is going to do is he's going to knock the steering lock motor using a hammer a few times in a bit to get it started so that I can start the car and leave the shopping mall and deal with it later. Because if this doesn't work, I'm in deep shit because I've heard it's quite troublesome to get consent to to your car out of the shopping mall. So let's see. Kalau motor makin slow, apa kita nak buat? Memang tak boleh buat apa kan, memang tengok rosak <laughs> So kalau dah motor tu rosak, memang rosak je lah kan? So apa yang kita nak cuba buat hari ni? Saya cuba try ketuk dulu steering lock. Kalau dia boleh jalan motor tu. Oh ketuk motor tu untuk bagi dia jalan lah? Boleh jalan. Boleh, boleh jadilah, boleh buat benda macam tu lah? Boleh juga, nasib juga bang Tapi selalunya saya buat tu boleh lah Tapi dia leceh sikit, banyak kali nak buat Oh iya ke? So after a few knocks here and there at the steering lock motor It works Macam mana dapat start ni? Motor selok tu jam ni sementara saja. So tadi ketuk-ketuk boleh? Uh, nasib lah Nasib, nasib lah. lah Tadi nasib so lah. mana masa uh, pulas kunci tu ni uh -huh. Dia dia sedut ke apa? Uh, dia sedut, tapi slow lah slow Maksudnya nak aktifkan dia punya sistem ni lah uh -huh. uh, Bila dah dapat aktif tu Kita boleh start lah Tapi tak boleh apa lagi ni Okay tak huh. Wait terima kasih Inilah Wira <laughs> apa -apa, Kalau ada isu steering Call here, call. One. But the thing is, it's a quick fix and it will only work once. And I can't drive straight away to his workshop because his workshop is closed and I don't want to park outside. So I'm going to head home. Tomorrow, I'm going to see if the engine starts. If it starts, I'll drive straight away to his workshop. And if it doesn't, I'm going to have to tow. The next day. Okay. Here goes nothing. <sighs> to the workshop it is Oh so kita, ini yang kita nak hantar ke? Uh, ini dengan kunci Kunci Banyak program uh -huh. Ini nanti dah tak pakai ni lah uh -huh. Dia pakai yang bypass ni lah okay, okay. Tak pakai motor yang tu lagi lebih tahan lah Semua dah tahan lah okay. Kalau yang untuk original dia Apa ibu lah Oh, so, mana ni kita nak bypass? Ah Kita bypass, kita tak pakai serial lock Kita pakai dia punya orang oh, apa? Uh, bentuk dia lebih kurang macam ni uh -huh. Dia plastik Dalam tu dia macam bukan motor lah Dia macam speaker bila kita cucuk kunci Dia nak bagi uh, signal tu detect Jadi kita boleh start lah okay, okay. Untuk lock serial tu dah tak ada lah Alright In 
this situation, there are two options. You can choose one, either you opt to buy the original part, which costs 2000 plus, and the second option is to opt for a bypass, which costs one third of the price. Since it is common practice for W204 owners to go for a bypass, I'm going for that option. The downside of the issue is, once you take the key out of the keyhole, your steering will no longer be locked, so you might have concerns about safety issues, but on the upside of it is, you won't have to worry about the issue anymore. And to be frank, this issue can happen to you at any time, and in my case, the worst time possible. So I opted for it. So basically what one said is we're gonna purchase an instrument which basically simulates the steering lock motor but actually it bypasses it. One setting it for programming. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Yeah, any bypass me. Why oh, any bypass? Any bypass, any bypass. The reason that the steering lock ah. Uh-huh. Pilih bit tahan ah. Uh-huh. Dah tak payah fikir sakit kepala. Ini? Ini dia buat apa? Ini ini dia program ah. Ya apa punya kunci tu. Oh, dia program untuk uh, connect dengan wow, yang ni. Yeah. Okay. Tu dia. About the price range, it is important to note that the price range may vary. If you can find a mechanic who knows how to do it himself, which is quite rare, it can go as cheap as eight hundred ringgit. But most mechanics needs to outsource it and in one's case he outsourced it so it cost me 1200 ringgit but why did i do it with one firstly i'm loyal to him and secondly he was there for me when i needed him the most so it's logical that i did it with him so if you like my video click the like button and subscribe and if you find it informative go share it with your friends it might help them one day I guess I'll see you in the next episode.